that I couldn't spend much time with my grandchildren. It's very painful. That no matter how much you love your children, do not give away all your wealth to them during your lifetime. Try to make all the people working with you a part of your family. I would have very much liked my life to be completed. Well, for a while she was Nawaz Singhania. Now she's back to being the Nawaz Modi. I feel sorry for her. So at one stage in life, like mine, one becomes very lonely. One thing which I'm missing today, that I did not give enough love to my children. Welcome to the Times of India. Today we are here with India's textile magnate, a man who has built a brand known to millions not just in the country but across the globe. Today on our show we have Mr. Vijaypat Singhania. Thank you so much sir for giving me the time. It's an absolute pleasure to talk to you about your latest book. Uh, we've all read the book, we've gone through your journey. So the first question, sir, was about your title of your book. When you say an incomplete life, does this still mean that you have some unfinished achievements in your life or something about your personal lives? That's right. The most important part that I wanted to express in my book was that I couldn't spend much time with my grandchildren due to family politics I would have very much liked my life to be completed by spending more time with my grandchildren not with my kids Agreed Mostly my grandkids I love them very deeply since your book talks about so much, you know, love and empathy for your grandchildren and you've always been known as this close-knit family. Uh, it's been quite some time with the family feud. Uh, how do you feel at this point of time with so much of longing with your grandchildren? Well, I guess uh, we all have to go through such patches in life. So I'm no exception. As far as I'm concerned, it's very painful. But I guess uh, that's a part of life. Absolutely. You also wrote about facing numerous business challenges apart from your personal life. And you know, in today's generation, people do not have a lot of patience, especially when it comes to business. With decades of experience, what is the advice that you want to give for today's entrepreneurs? Well, I'd like to tell the young kids, number one, to work hard, sincerely, and try to make all the people working with you a part of your family. They should not be treated as employees or servants, but as members of the family. And I found a, a lot of advantage in uh, treating people as family. They behaved as family and they performed as family. And to the middle age or later aged entrepreneurs, workers, I'd like to say this, that no matter how much you love your children, do not give away all your wealth to them during your lifetime. You want to give them something? Sure. 
गिव दम गिव इट इन इन योर विल नॉट इन योर लाइफ बिकॉज टूडेज किड्स हैव बिकम टू इंडिपेंडेंट एंड दे डोंट रिस्पेक्ट देयर पेरेंट्स और एल्डर फैमिली मेम्बर्स टू प्रिवेंट दैट इट्स बेस्ट to keep your wealth to yourself before you have to go begging for assistance it is very shameful to me i don't want members of business people connected to business to ever have to spend spread their hand before their children is best to keep it till you are alive your will can transfer all your wealth to them at least that way even maybe for the wrong reason your kids will respect you once the money is gone there's no respect left those days are gone you've spoken so much uh, about your relationship you know with your sons uh, but with recent happenings there have also been talks about uh, ms nawaz modi and sir uh, with nawaz nawaz modi uh, gautam sir uh, well now she well for a while she was nawaz singh ganya now she is back to being the nawaz modi i feel sorry for her the nice girl how do you read she has a very her? nice father i have great respect for mr nawaz modi he is now i think 95 years old something like that how do you recollect your relationship with her well i have not had any very close relationship with her I would have liked to have I love her children both the girls very deeply and I wish I could spend more time with them I've been telling Nawaz please spend some time with me bring your girls I want to spend time with them all have limitations So at one stage in life like mine one becomes very lonely there's nothing you can do about it except accept it true for the one last question sir if you had to change one thing to make your current situations better what would that have been I think one thing which I am missing today that I did not give enough love to my children and if I had another opportunity I'd do that I have three children my daughter loves me my sons don't I don't think they know that I am their father they live their own life maybe if i had loved them more maybe i may not have passed through this stage of life i would certainly like to have changed it